Hey gang, it's David again, back to you with yet another Oxygen Builder video. And in this one, I would like to share with you my personal uh, top seven missing features here uh, inside Oxygen. But before we get started, uh, I just wanted to say that I use Oxygen basically daily. And, uh, you know, when I'm using it daily, I really, really appreciate it and enjoy it. It's great. But at the same time, there are just a couple of, the, of things that I find missing or that are annoying. So here's just a, a quick, a quick list of uh, those things. And of course, you might disagree with me and, and you might agree with me as well. So I do encourage you to share your opinions uh, uh, in the comments uh, section below. So let's uh, start things off with the non-adjustable right sidebar. As you probably know, it's it's just impossible to grab this line this edge right here and to move this sidebar and it's uh, i think it's pretty important and it's definitely pretty annoying i mean when we have like a lot of elements right here so if we add like a lot of divs to our our design i'm just going to clone this guy a few times and uh, if i can i'm just gonna try to fit one inside another which is like kind of like another another thing another problem and I'm gonna you can see, you can see that like at the bottom uh, I already can see the scroll bar and even though oh my god and even though I am on a 27 inch uh, monitor I can still no I uh, well after like few edit like like few added divs I can see this this scroll bar and I have to move it around if I wanna um, if I wanna adjust something within those elements within those divs and I cannot just grab this this line right here and just move the sidebar a bit to the left to see all of these elements like you know you know <laughs> at the same time basically so another thing that uh, that I'm kind of missing here inside oxygen is uh, the ability to move the close icon uh, for our mobile menu to the right. I mean, um, I'm you know, I'm previewing my uh, my beauty salon uh, site that I uh, that I recently developed in Oxygen, and you can find that tutorial, the video for that uh, here uh, in my channel. You will see the card um, on your screen. So what I mean by by moving the the, the close icon. So if I just grab my this website you know like in a mobile view if i open the menu you can see that i have my icon set to the right so everything is great right the way to do that i mean at least the way i am doing that is when i go to like the less than 990 and i grab my menu if i can just try to grab that menu i think it's somewhere here and then when i go to mobile menu and i go to close icon layout i have to set this icon position left to 90 percent so when i or something like that so when i click this uh, uh, this hamburger menu that icon is on the right if it's not set like that i'm gonna save that guy and then refresh the page that icon is gonna go to the left you know, most people are right-handed and uh, basically if uh, you know if people are viewing my website on a mobile device it's just easier for them especially on those larger mobile phones and if people have smaller hands to simply just click on an icon that is like closer to the right so i guess it would be just great to have like an option to position that close icon so if we uh, so that we could choose like you know left or right or center instead of just i mean i guess we can we could keep this one but if we had uh, like you know added uh, option to move the icon the close icon to center left or right i don't know i guess just for accessibility uh, purposes it might be a good idea let me know what you think in the comments below so another thing on the list is um basically the lack of uh, the copy and paste functionality i guess for people coming from like switching to oxygen from other uh, page builders it might be kind of a surprise i guess because uh, right now in oxygen in order to like simulate the copy and paste process we have to just grab an element like say this image and then choose from this context menu the duplicate and then i'm gonna have to just like move it say i want to put it somewhere here in this featured section and then drop it in uh, right here so i can see it being put right here and i guess it just would be a nice thing if we could from this context menu just choose copy 
and then you know go to another part of our structure and again from the context menu just choose uh, paste i know it's not it's not like a huge maybe no deal but you know if you can save two seconds here two seconds there it all adds up at the end of the day maybe you're gonna have like i don't know 15 minutes save and it's like a proper break and same thing goes for uh, for the styles we could of course you know create classes for our elements but uh, you know if you don't want to create them or if you don't need them at a per particular uh, moment or stage in your design you know it just would be a good idea to simply you know have again in this uh, context menu the ability to just click copy styles and move somewhere like down here and again choose from the uh, context menu paste uh, styles it would just be you know I guess it would be a nice addition to this whole like accessibility of the builder. Another thing on my list is uh, the lack of uh, just something like a recent fonts feature um, inside the, uh, the fonts uh, selector. I just created like a super super fast heading like this one. And of course we can go to our font family and say I'm gonna choose like Roboto. Then uh, let's say that I'm gonna choose Meriwether just because maybe I changed my plans. Then I'm gonna go with, I don't know, maybe Ubuntu. And uh, I know that for a lot of people who are like just developing the sites, you know, you, you just basically get the fonts from the designer or, or the designer from the designer. But if you're like, you know, bridging the gap between design and development, quite quite a lot of times actually, you might wanna just, you know, design like a la prima. So I'm saying you're just using the, uh, a development tool like Oxygen to to design too or just like to see what that design would ac actually look like and um, being able to just you know quickly work with fonts is well it's kind of essential so what i mean is that okay so i changed all those fonts and now when i go to my list i just don't see the lastly used fonts you know so i cannot basically like um you know switch between different fonts that i use so i would uh, I'm not even sure I, what I use. I think I use Roboto, so I would have to go back to Roboto. Then I would have to go back to you know something, something else that I use. I think it was Montserrat. I'm not sure. So as you can see, if you are like designing in Oxygen, and you're playing around with fonts, it would just be a nice addition to have some some like you no know, recent fonts list added to well, well here. I mean, it doesn't have to be like all the recent fonts if you. I don't know, I played around with like 20 fonts. That would be a bit too much, but like, I don't know, recent three fonts or something like that. It was just, a, it would just be a nice thing. It would just make them, basically the design slash development process much quicker. So if you're building sites with Oxygen, the chances are that you are using the columns module. I mean, uh, I know that a lot of people tend to like just skip this one and they use just the divs, but uh, I tend to use the, the columns module quite a lot. And there's a, a couple of, actually a couple of things that um, are missing, let's put it like that, from this, from this module. So uh, first of all, once we add the columns module and we set it to be like in, you know, like three or four columns, Later, if we change our mind, we simply cannot uh, fix that. We cannot, like, we cannot change that number of uh, of columns. And uh, if I just now simply say that I want to have three columns, and I'm going to remove that last div, you can see. And this is another thing that's really bugging me. You can see that these divs are not of the same uh, are not of the same width. Also, if I just, for instance, want to change like the layout of these columns, so let's say that I'm gonna go ahead and do like 66. Uh, percent for this guy and then I, when I want to go back to 25% you know, everything is uh, well messed up I guess I mean we are not back to you know, our starting point so all these divs should have like 25% in width but uh, they do not so these are just a few quirks you know that I encounter when working with a columns module and I really would love to see the columns module undergoes some kind of a refresh. You know what? I was really thinking that maybe this should be like on top of my list. I mean, we can, of course, add custom fonts here inside Oxygen, but in order to do that, we have to add another plugin like uh, called like Elegant Custom Fonts, if I remember right. Then we have to find that uh, specific path to the to the fonts that we uploaded uh, to our server, and it's I guess the easiest 
by using the WordPress file manager plugin. So it's quite an ordeal to be able to just add custom fonts to uh, to my project. In quite a lot of projects, uh, you know, people tend to use custom fonts. I mean, you can you you can buy them in bulk on different sites, and they're not that expensive. And you know, they just uh, really make that design look a bit more professional, not that redundant, especially in in these days where almost every web website you no know, looks basically the same it's just a good addition addition to have some like custom uh, custom fonts so i guess you know what i'm saying is just you know it would be nice to just go to manage settings uh, maybe global styles fonts and uh, you know add font from my uh, from my basically from my hard drive not just you know add like a google font or or a typekit typekit font so uh, before we move on to the number one on our list, uh, let's uh, take a quick look at uh, the honorable mentions. And uh, the first one is uh, the inability to save the project using the Control plus S uh, command. I mean, uh, if we want to you know, save our project, we have to go to the save um, uh, button right here at the top. And we cannot do it using the Control plus S command on our keyboard. Other builders do offer that functionality, and it's a, you know, it, it's a minor thing, but you know, at the end of the day, it saves some time when working on a large project. So another thing would be the like the the headings management, so to speak. So if I go to the settings and I go to global styles and I go to headings, sometimes when I uh, you know when I'm working with the headings and I want to change the font weight or uh, well, especially the color of my headings, I would like to be able to like change them basically with one click without the need to you know, simply click here to uh, you know, change the font weight for the H1 and then, uh, do the same thing for the H2, same with the colors. I would just like to see some kind of an option you know, that would allow me to you know, apply the same settings to all, uh, to all the headings. I just want to be sure that they all have the same values, the same attributes, and I want to do it quickly, preferably with one click. And the last honorable mention would be the search form module. That simply isn't too flexible. I mean, uh, we only have uh, the ability to change the border color, text color uh, for the form field, and also the background color and the text color for the button. But uh, for instance, we cannot add a placeholder here. We cannot change uh, the size of the form or uh, the submit button. You know, of course, without um, getting uh, getting deeper deeper in, in the code. So you know, I would like um, this uh, you know, this form to be a bit more to allow for a bit more uh, flexibility because you know, especially when I'm building some some kind of blogs, and I want to add the search functionality. The search the search form module is simply well not enough. So I guess my personal number one would be the lack of uh, some sort of a visual representation when working with uh, borders or changing the borders. So, uh, you know, when we go to advanced, I'm going to use my image again. When we go to advanced and then when we go to borders, yeah, we can change all the borders at the same time or we can choose like the top or just the right, bottom or, or left. And then we can change the color to some, let's do something you know, a bit strange, but let's say that this is what we actually want, or this is what our client wants. Uh, so I'm gonna go with maybe this this color, and then with like five pixels, and then solid. So okay, we got these borders. Now let's say that I'm gonna go back to my you know my panel. That let's say that I'm doing something with my uh, with my design. Then all of a sudden I need to change the borders. So I'm gonna go to the image again. I'm going to go to borders and I again have to go through all of these elements. So I have to go to like to the right and then like change the color from this color to this. Maybe I have to do 20 now, I not two. Then I have to go to left, I think. Then I would have to change like, let's say that the same color, but maybe like 15. You know, I have to go through all uh, through all that. So I just think that it uh, it might be a good addition, of course, that's, that is just my opinion, that instead of this like drop down list, we would have something like a, uh, like a square or a rectangle uh, right here that uh, would have like you know, clickable signs. So if we click like, like on the top side of, uh, of, uh, of this rectangle, we can affect 
that uh, top uh, top border uh, of that uh, selected element and of course we have all of these elements uh, ready and waiting for us as well and we, we, if we click on the left we can change the left uh, border if we uh, click on the right side of, of the rectangle or square we can like quickly change uh, the uh, well all its uh, all its attributes and it, it would also be nice if that if that rectangle had well at least like you know the colors attached to those sides so if we set the left to uh, let's say that if we left uh, if we set the left to this uh, like gold color i guess then that rectangle would have like this left uh, this gold color attached to that to that rectangle so we basically see what color we have where uh, and we can you know see that we still have some uh, some values some adjustments uh, added to that specific specific side so there you go these are my top seven missing features here inside uh, oxygen builder uh, if you like that video please do comment uh, share like and subscribe and uh, no thanks for sticking uh, sticking with me until the end of this video so as always until next time have a nice design